In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to this Ignatian Meditation session titled Humility and Authenticity. In today's reflection, we will explore a teaching of Jesus where he emphasizes the importance of genuine humility and authenticity in our faith journey, as found in Matthew 23 1-12. Join me on this spiritual journey as we delve into the themes of sincerity, servant leadership, and the transformative power of living out our faith with humility. Let's begin by reading the scripture passage together. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. So you must be careful to do everything they tell you. But do not do what they do for they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy, cumbersome loads and put them on other people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to lift a finger to move them. Everything they do is done for people to see. They make their phylacteries wide and the tassels on their garments long. They love the place of honor at banquets and the most important seats in the synagogues. They love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to be called rabbi by others. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brothers. And do not call anyone on earth father, for you have one father, and he is in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. In this passage, Jesus addresses the crowds and his disciples, cautioning them about the behavior of the teachers of the law and the Pharisees. He acknowledges their authority but warns against imitating their actions. He highlights their tendency to burden others with heavy religious duties while not practicing what they preach. Jesus critiques their love for outward displays of piety and desire for recognition and honor. He contrasts this with the call to humility and authenticity and the practice of faith. He instructs his disciples not to seek titles or positions of prestige, emphasizing that they are all brothers and sisters under one teacher and father in heaven. He underscores the transformative power of servanthood and the exaltation of the humble. Ignatian meditation invites us to enter into this scripture passage to contemplate its meaning, and to personally experience the call to live out our faith with humility and authenticity. Through this practice, we embark on a journey of self-awareness, servant leadership, and the transformative power of genuine faith. Consider the contrast between the actions of the teachers of the law and the Pharisees and the teachings of Jesus. Reflect on moments in your own life when you may have struggled with authenticity in your faith journey. How might Jesus' critique challenge and guide you in your own practice of faith? Ponder Jesus' instructions regarding titles and positions. How might this challenge societal norms and expectations about status and authority? Reflect on the significance of humility in the Kingdom of God. How might embracing a posture of servanthood lead to transformation in your own life and community? In prayer and contemplation, invite the Holy Spirit to guide you in embracing humility and authenticity in your faith journey. Ask for the grace to align your actions with your beliefs, avoiding hypocrisy. Pray for a heart that is open to serving others with love and sincerity. Reflect on areas in your life where you may be tempted to seek recognition or status. Surrender these desires to God, asking for the strength to find fulfillment in humble service. Pray for the wisdom to lead with authenticity, reflecting the teachings of Jesus. As we conclude this Ignatian meditation, let's embrace the transformative message of Matthew 23, 1-12. 
May we heed Jesus' call to live out our faith with humility and authenticity, avoiding hypocrisy and seeking to serve others. Let us recognize that true greatness is found in humble service and genuine devotion. May this meditation inspire us to cultivate a spirit of humility and authenticity in our faith journey, reflecting the teachings and example of Jesus. And may we find joy and fulfillment in the transformative power of living out our faith with sincerity and love. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.